to say thank you to those of you who agreed to be a part of the healing circle. And this is to those of you that are a part of the healing circle. If you are not a part of the healing circle, this right now doesn't pertain to you, honey, okay? So right now... Oh, now it's loud, sorry. So right now, unless you boys and girls choose to tell me to do something altogether other, <laughs> as my Angela would say, right now, until we all get adjusted to each other's energies and can kind of sort of work close to the same time frame for, I mean, because we already, ha I checked my email this morning, we already got five more, <laughs> five more people. And for those that, that have, I have written back to, this pertains to you now and the angel babies. When I ask for you to send a love offering, don't fuss about it. If you don't have two, five, seven, ten dollars to donate to to the angel babies, these are the young boys and girls, women, children, men that are in the healing circle doing something for you. It's called a service. And last time I checked, people pay for services done. So don't give me a hard time, because I charge $100 an hour for healing. Okay? Okay now, angel babies. And I say that no matter what, what the age is. Right now, for these first two, and you know who they are, because I sent you the email last night. We're going to do the 10 minute thing for seven days. We're going to see how that works out for us as, as a collective group, okay? Um, in addition to the two people that are in the process of healing, please help us out by, this is how I'm starting it, okay? This is how Spirit told me to start it. This is to everybody, just to keep making myself clear. Okay, you have a glass figure, your body, whatever that looks like. And we are envisioning, all of us are going to together envision you clear. With no green spots, orange spots, brown spots, no spots. Okay, you're not a casserole. Even though we're likening you unto a casserole dish. I have a crystal clear casserole dish. Here, honey, I brought this for you to read when you have a minute to read it. And I say that because that's the quickest thing. That was the first thing Spirit told me to do. But now that I look back on what they said, because, you know, you don't get everything right away the first time. It makes sense. It's clear. Your body should be clear. Minus, you know, the pink and red tissues and whatnot, blood vessels and da-da-da. But it's clear spiritually. It'll be cleared up physically. It's clear. You see through it. So when you go, um, um, Ryan, when you go to the mirror, when you go to the bathroom next time, and you look in the mirror, I want you to visualize a clear, crystal clear, no foggy spots, nothing, see-through glass Ryan. Okay? And we are going to, what I, what the, the boys and girls are doing is envisioning that thought also. Okay, I, well, I sent them a picture of you. I do not send out pictures of people. I do not say names or anything. Okay, I give my kids initials. It's not going to the whole world. Nobody knows. Okay, should you, the person that is receiving the healing, like to leave a comment, leave it on the video, leave it on their, leave it some email, whatever, that we can read um, to the public. Um, then you can put whatever you want to be known as in that comment. It's your comment to the world on the Angels Network. Okay? 
Um, um, so, guys, we're going to try this out for seven days. Okay, we're doing Ryan right now, and on Sunday, we're doing someone else. Okay, and then we're going to see how that feels for one week. But we already have five people, so we got to do about think about what we're going to do the next week. So, healing circle. This is to the healing circle. Tell me what your guides, angels, teachers, whatever say when we get to like 100 people. Okay, now I don't know about you, I can envision putting all their names in a bowl for us privately, not for the public. And then just envision the whole bowl full of white light. You tell me, what do your guides and teachers and angels say? For the healing circle, if you're not in the healing circle, do not comment on that. Okay? Um, so, yeah, because I can see us already getting busy. Like I said, we already got five emails. And that I checked it before I went to bed last night. So, I'm sure there's probably 20 there now. So, we got to think about, you know, what we're going to do then. You tell me. So, again, to all those that have emailed me, I, I just noticed I have a few emails saying, yes, I agree to join. And I'm going to send you the email now. And let me tell you this about that. If you are not willing to reply to my emails, do not tell me you're going to be a healer. If you're not willing to do the, the three, four things I've asked people to do, you cannot be a healer. I need people who are go going to respond, okay? Isn't that interesting, honey? Yes, 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 yes. I wish you good luck. You wish what? A good luck. Thank you, brother. Good energy. Good luck. I'm going to let you read this as soon as it comes in the mail. My American Indian Secrets of Healing Crystals. Okay, you know what? I just had enough of you, okay? Just... Um, so, let's get this going. Let's get it going good so everyone can feel comfortable and do it in a timely fashion so we can, you know, heal the world one person at a time because I believe it's possible. You know, I mean, look at what happened in, oh God, Egypt. Just took one man, to get something started, took off, okay? So, I thank you, I love you. Because it's not, it's not always easy, you know, the choice to use your gifts. And that's why I do a lot of videos on youngsters using their gifts. A lot of the elder, older people, and when I say youngsters, <clears throat> I mean people like 22 and under. And a lot of uh, grown adults are afraid to use their gifts. You know, and I can, I can empathize with that. It's not easy being green. <laughs> it's a song. Never mind. Um, it's not easy, you know, standing up, doing the right thing. It's not easy standing up, using your gifts. No matter how you misunderstood you are. How fearful things can be. You know? Excuse me. It's never easy. But you know what? If you face the fear and don't let it persist, it gets easier and easier. Trust me. Because after a while, you don't think about, oh, what if this and what if, what if, what if. You just go like, guys. Yeah. When you start to remember, just ask your guides and teachers. Say, hey, you know, I was kind of, don't worry about, okay, gotcha. Next. And you just keep on rolling with the punches, you know. Now, it's, it's no thought to me. It is no thought to me to, <clears throat> when I pass by anything, if I'm standing at the, if I'm sitting at the bus stop for two minutes, I can instantly tune in. See, that's where, in the classes, angels, teachers, and guys, that's where I wanted people to get to. If I'm sitting here for a second and they're not talking, I can sit here, instantly meditate, put some white light around Ryan's cute little body, and I can pull out, I can, I can envision myself standing in front of him, pulling all the black junk out. And then I cut it off and I throw it in the green flames for healing. 
no, I don't put it back in. And I pull some more. And I cut it. I throw it. And I wash my hands. The green flames are healing. Okay? And I keep doing that over and over and over and over until, until he tells me he feels better. You know? So, Mother, Father, God, please surround my baby with white healing light. And let that white light just scorch all that crap that's inside of him and push it out. Just let him have a really good shit, Lord. And heal him, because I know he got to go to his weekend thing, drill, whatever it's called. And I wouldn't want to go to drill not feeling good, Lord. So please help him to be well now. Let him learn whatever lesson he was supposed to learn from this and let the rest ooze from his pores, his urethra, his anus. Let it all come out so he can be in divine order and pay attention in class and have a good weekend with the boys, <laughs> as it were. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Unseen Healing Powers. Thank you, angels, teachers, guides, family, for healing him right now and letting him be in divine order right now. And then I come back to reality. See how long that took? Focus, 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 focus. I mean, anyway, and then when I go home, I, I don't know, I have to ask, maybe I'll show you that too. Um, when you have time, see, but when you don't have a lot of time, tune in instantly. I can see the bus coming down the street. I can tune in instantly. I know I got 30 seconds. It didn't take that, what I just did, 30 seconds, right? You see what I mean? So, for the healers and the heal and the, and the, the ones getting healed and the ones doing the healing, you can both do that. Okay, just tune in for a split second. If you don't, if you can't tune in, and I mean ground, ground yourself, because your energy doesn't want to pick up their, what their energy has on you, right? And it doesn't matter where you live, you can still pick up on somebody's energy. Okay. You, I would like for you to, and those of you who know what I mean, just do it. Okay, don't be asking a bunch of questions and stuff. You know what I mean. Okay, you close your eyes, you tune in, you instantly ground, and you, you talk to your master teacher, and you say, hey, all you angels, teachers, and guides, go to him now and heal his cute little body, his pretty blue, sometimes green eyes. Okay, and then I tell him, when I, when I text him, you envision yourself whole right now. You talk to that cold and you tell it to get the hell out of my body. You do not belong here. This is not your home. Amen. And so it is. You know? Just like that. And I know, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, he's going to say, I'm feeling much better. See, right now it's 827. I haven't even asked him, but I know him. I know my son. And he's been like, yeah, I'm feeling better. I did my little chant thing last night and talked to the angels and gods and goddesses. And you have to know it too. The person receiving the, the healing, you must know it or it will never work. Nothing will work. Which means, again, you have just put me and uh, five other people through wasting our time. Thus again. Yeah, just go make a donation. Yeah, PayPal, Tasha Speaks at gmail.com so the babies can get paid. Okay? Yes, because they deserve something for their healing energy and their time. If I could pay my guides, I would, but they don't need any money. So, here we go. We are going to jump headfirst into this. And then, oh, wait till you see what I have. Wait till you see, not I have in store. Oops, sorry. Wait till you see what, <laughs> what, the, what the angels have in store. Oh my God, I can see it in my head, but I can't tell yet. Okay, maybe I will in the next video. <laughs> i tell you a little something, something they said I could tell you, but I can't tell you the whole thing yet. So, anywho, thank you, angel babies. Thank you, everyone, for, who, for those of you who agreed to be healers that are well. And thank you to those that have requested a healing. Please go make your donations so I can pay the babies. Love you. Love yourself.